Good morning, saints of God. We greet you again in the name of our Lord. Thank God for another day. He has blessed us to see. My name is Pastor Brian K. Dees, and I am the proud pastor of East Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church, located here in Picayune, Mississippi. And on behalf of the saints that labor here in this ministry, I thank God for them. I thank God for you. And we thank God for giving us another opportunity to come. Message from the Lord. I want to thank the saints of this ministry for their labor of love, for how uh, we have stood fast. We've worked together in this ministry uh, to be a blessing, not only in our giving, but in our prayers, in our walk with God. I just want to tell all of them thank you. And I also want to thank uh, the saints of this ministry who have uh, lost loved ones and how families have suffered uh, sickness during this pandemic with this coronavirus. Thank God for his healing power. Thank God for his comforting power, for his love and his ministering angels that he gives us during this time of crisis. But we just know that God is able. And I want to thank you all uh, for your dedication, for your commitment, for your love, and for your resolve to stay on the wall and fight the good fight of faith. I also want to encourage us to remember that we're still going to continue on with our weekly uh, Sunday morning presentations as we have been doing until we get farther direction where we can come together uh, as a congregation and worship God in the sanctuary in the house of God like we normally do. But until then, until then our uh, services will remain suspended, um, but we look forward uh, to doing this as a way of reaching out uh, to the sons and daughters of this ministry and any others who are blessed to look in and visit with us when we make these presentations. I want to thank God for all of you again, uh, for your prayers, for your encouraging words, uh, just for staying together and working in the Lord's ministry to be a blessing not only for one another, but to be a blessing as unto the Lord. I want to say uh, that I have a word, <clears throat> a brief word from the Lord, and I'll I want to start out this morning uh, by singing this simple song, At the Cross, At the Cross. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Oh, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. For it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Pray for us, pray for you. Pray God's continuous blessings in your life. The word from the Lord today is things will work out. That is the thought, the text. Things will work out. And the scripture reading is from the book of Romans, chapter number 8, verse number 28. And it reads, all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. And I want us to think of and remember this way against this backdrop when the Apostle Paul wrote this epistle to the church at Rome that was located uh, in the capital city, Rome. Uh, he wrote this letter to encourage the saints to know that no matter what you're going through, it's going to work out according to the power of God, according to the love, the faith that we have in God. And I want us to know that Paul does not assert that all things that we believe us endure are good, but if we trust him, all things will work together for our good according to God's will, not our will or our understanding. We must trust the will of God. We must trust God's way, not our way, and believe that things, listen to the Lord today, saints, and believe that things will work out. At various times, especially in times like these, God allows things to happen in this world to bring about a turn of events that will result in what is best for us, his people. 
God knows what's best for us. Can I get a witness? He knows what's best for us. And that, the, and that through it all, things will work out for our good. God uses our experiences, our personal experiences, our life experiences. He uses these experiences to make us more like Jesus. We learn how to suffer. Don't we learn, saints of God? We learn how to suffer. We learn how to go through hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. We know. We have gracious, blessed assurance, like the song, the word to the song says, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. We have blessed assurance that through Christ, we are going to make it. I want us to know this morning, saints of God, that we are going to make it. If you can take it, you can make it. But ask yourself this question. I want you to think about this question, saints of God, as we're trying to give an encouraging word Ask yourself this question. Do I really love God? Ask yourself this question this morning today. Do I really love God? Do I really love Jesus? Do I really love the Lord? We must love God with all our heart, our soul, and our mind. Listen to this, saints. Sometimes things don't look good. Our situation looks bad feels bad, it's overwhelming, and it feels overwhelming, looks like there's no way out, but we learn how to wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and in the process of waiting and praying and calling on the Lord, he strengthens our heart, and I believe I have some witnesses here that are listening this morning that our heart has been strengthened in times like these. We strengthen ourselves in the Lord and we encourage ourselves in the Lord. Our heart, we strengthen the Lord and in our mind. Things will work out. Think about it, saints. When you're going through what you're going through, when you're dealing with problems in your life, things will work out. They are the same that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and the light is Jesus. Listen to the Lord. It worked out for the children of Israel when they were in bondage. God brought them out of bondage across the Red Sea and through the wilderness into a promised land. In our lion's den experiences, and we all have some, in our lion's den experience, in our fiery furnace experience, and even in the coronavirus experience, things will work out. God is with us, his children, and things will work out for us. Just call on his name and believe and trust in the Lord. Lastly, I want us to think about this. Think about Jesus and all that he went through. Think about Jesus and the suffering that he endured. Think about Jesus and how they lied and ridiculed and beat him and disowned him. Think about Jesus and how he was re rejected and how he was hurt and despised and laughed at and scorned and mocked. Think about Jesus. It worked out. Things will work out. The same way it worked out for the children of Israel, the same way it worked out for those we read of in the Bible, we're God's children too, and it's going to work out for us. But I want us to know when it worked out for Jesus, and he suffered, and he bled, and he died, well, listen to this. He rose from the grave with all power in his hand. And he said, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. And he is a, he is the, victorious savior of the world. He's our savior. And I want us to know, saints of God, as I conclude, keep your hope. Keep your trust in the Lord. In spite of difficulties, the joys, and the pains, in spite of dark times and dark days and heavy burdens, know that we have a burden sharer and we can cast all our cares on Jesus. Remember this thought. Things will. Ain't no maybe. There is no might. There's nothing to ponder about it. Things will work out. And as we trust in the Lord, and as we hope in the Lord, and keep our faith in the Lord and in Jesus, know that he will bring us through. And I want to say this as I conclude. God uses opportunities of crisis and distress and perplexities in our life, things that are beyond our understanding, 
to work a miracle. It's an opportunity for God to do something great. For the Bible says, great is he that's in us and he that's in the world. Let God work it out for you. Trust in the Lord. I encourage families to stay together. Husbands and wives, pray together. If you have children, pray together. Worship the Lord together. Praying for those that are in hospitals that are still recovering. For, the, for those that God has worked miracles to bring home. And for those that have lost loved ones. And for those that are still dealing with this sickness and this virus and this pandemic. But through it all, God is able. Things will work out. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank God for you. Pray God continually for your strength, for your joy, for your happiness, for you to continue to encourage yourself in the Lord and know that God is able and that things will work out. God bless you. Thank God for you. And we'll see you the next time. Amen.